Hi guys, and welcome back to the Tenderloin Houseplant Club. Uh, we're continuing our series on easy to take care of low maintenance plants. We talked about the vining polos, we talked about the ZZ plant and how easy the ZZ is, and now we're going to talk about the Sansevieria. So the Sansevieria, I think everybody has seen these. They put them everywhere, airports, malls, waiting rooms, and why? Because they're so easy to grow. This is another plant that you can get forget to water for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, and they will continue just to grow for you. Um, the light requirements of these guys is not that high either. Um, I'll explain to you a couple of uh, light requirements for some of these, um, but they come in so many different varieties now. Uh, the selection that you can find now at nurseries is mind boggling. I mean, they come in almost like these crazy kaleidoscope of colors, um, shapes, sizes. You can get some that are like huge. They'll be like four or five feet tall and they'll come in these big containers and they're just like so amazing. Um, so let's talk about these cuties because uh, they're really, really, really fun. Um, so the one that probably is the most common is going to be uh, this variety right here, which is kind of like the uh, most standard, most popular one. Um, let's talk about all the different names of Sansevieria, though. Uh, this is known as snake plant, you know, because it kind of looks like a snake plant. Um, it's also known as mother-in-law's tongue. So it's known for like, I guess, talking a lot of smack, but look at how cool these leaves are. They absolutely look like snake skin. That's probably why they call them um, snake plant, but they are just so cool to look at. And they're so shiny, strappy. They feel almost leathery. Um, look at the variegations on them, the markings. Almost look like snakes, right? Really cool. Um, I don't give this guy too much light. He's actually near a, I would say, he's on the dresser near a window that faces south, probably about six feet away. And he seems to actually do perfectly fine. Um, I, last year, it actually, I knocked it off of the dresser and a bunch of these guys actually snapped but they're so easy to propagate that I actually just stuck the pieces into some soil and new plants came up. Easy to propagate, and I'll show you how to do that in our propagation video. Uh, but let's move on to another variety. This is a more of a dwarf variety. Uh, this is called a bird's nest Sansevieria. Um, it's really cute. It probably doesn't get any bigger than this, but it forms little babies on the side and it'll form this huge colony of these little birds' nest sands of areas. And they're really, really cool. Look at how cute they are. They are cute. Well, they almost look like agaves, to be honest with you. These guys do. Then we have a more variegated form. So this one, I don't know the name of these, um, but this one right here has this beautiful yellow edge to it. It's got the cool stripes, but this is what we're after. This cool yellow edge to it. Isn't that cool? Oh my God, I just love how this looks like. It's so bright, like in a kind of drab corner, like with its yellow frosting. It kind of grows very strangely too. Really nice one. So that's not all folks, there is Another variety called Sansevieria cylindrica, which actually is just like it sounds. They have cylindrical instead of strap-like leaves. And the cool thing about this is that they actually continue just to grow fatter and taller until eventually there are these like fat, tall kind of like, they actually call these um, either African spear because uh, they kind of look like spears, and they're from Africa. Um, or they call them, like, finger Sansevieria, because they're kind of like fingers coming up from the ground. But I think they're, like, super cute. These grow really, really slow, though. These guys are slow growers. 
Um, this is a different type of cylindrica. This one has more of the kind of like zigzag pattern. It's a little hard to see because of the lighting, but it does have more of the zigzag pattern. Um, they all started here about this high and look, all of these just started shooting up. I've had this probably for a year and I've gotten like tons of growth. So maybe they're not as slow growing as they say they are, but um, they, for me, they're still pretty slow growing. I like things that grow really fast. Um, so these guys don't need a lot of water. Like I said, they have big thick roots underneath that store water for them. Not necessarily like the ZZ plant um, that has a tuber. Um, this is more of like a long thickened stem underneath the ground called a rhizome. And that's where it stores a lot of water and a lot of its um, nutrients so that it can survive in the hot African deserts. Um, but good thing for us, it survives neglect. And it definitely is one of those plants that you can kind of like set it and forget it. And it kind of will just grow for you. Um, I think that they're really nice. I think they kind of bring a little desert look into uh, your home. Uh, I'm a desert boy. I grew up in West Texas, Southern New Mexico. So I really like this kind of um, cool desert look. I kind of put little white rocks in them because this is very reminiscent of the white rock landscaping that a lot of homes in the Southwest have in their front yard surrounding all of their um, succulents. So I think this is a really cool plant. Um, it's very easy to grow uh, and I will show you how to propagate it in our propagation series. All right, have a great day, keep growing.